strontium, the cesium, those are in Olympic-sized pools in those areas. And then the east and the west is where the, the concentration of the tanks are. Those are 15 miles from CGS. 15 miles. And no one is talking about the fact that we have a live nuclear power plant just down the road from all the waste. And we call it double jeopardy because uh, I believe that uh, Jerry Paulette pointed this out to us uh, maybe a month ago, is if CGS has a meltdown like Fukushima, and I think I've probably covered uh, things that are convincing that that is well in the realm of possibility, it would be too hot radioactively for people to continue to watch over the waste areas. They would not be able to access those areas. 15 miles away is nothing. And those tanks must be monitored constantly because of the hydrogen buildup, is my understanding. Reverse that, and if any of the hydrogen um, buildup in the tanks um, goes out of whack, then we have explosions. If the tanks blow up, guess what? You've got to evacuate CPS. So we have an enormous problem here that no one is talking about. Thank goodness after, what, 20 years, Jerry, of um, sitting through these DOE things on the waste. Thank goodness, finally, the press is talking about this stuff. But I want to send a footnote to every one of those stories saying, wait a minute, that's just half of it. The other half is we have a ticking time bomb just down the road, and no one is saying a word about it. I'll find this up for a minute. Okay. So is there a way, is there a reasonable way to shut down CGS? Yes, there is. 3.9% is peanuts. It's just a tiny amount of electricity. And we know uh, that it could easily be um, replaced by uh, energy savings from conservation uh, through efficient technology and increase uh, wind and solar investments. So it's, it's not a big thing. I mean, it is a big thing, of course. But Life can go on pretty easily without CGS. So think of it when you think of the waste situation. Um, and what can you do about it? Well, obviously support um, uh, shutting it down, support energy conservation, support renewable uh, energy resources, and contact in Oregon, Merkley and Wyden, because we're in a very tough situation. Oregon doesn't have any direct influence, excuse me, any direct, um, uh, what do you call it? Control. Control over, <laughs> we do have some influence, but no control over over uh, Hanford. But Merkley and Wyden do, and they need to hear from us that we are aghast, that they're considering keeping that open for another 33 years. Thank you.